been talking about the whaling. The Japanese tried to reintroduce uh, whaling. You know, led the band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with whaling? <laughs> <laughs> Very therapeutic qualities, whales, aren't they? Their whale song is supposed to be relaxing. You know, that, that noise, they're sort of like, oh. <laughs> I think you know, it sounds more like they're faxing. <laughs> Louis? <laughs> did, you get, did you get that? <laughs> that sounds like G4. The whale brothers. <laughs> David, you seem to have nailed your colours to a different <laughs> mast tonight. <laughs> well, did you ask not to be with me? Because no. last time I was with you, and you seem to not like it. <laughs> and now I'm over here yeah. <laughs> with Louis Walsh. I think you're perfect boy band material, aren't you? <laughs> the reason they're laughing, he's probably treading on a fox's neck. They <laughs> <laughs> love that kind of thing. Who's the boy at the back? Prince think... Harry, you know Harry. that. So, who's he want to fire him at? God, the chances of getting a genuine discussion of global politics here are slim. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea, Dave? Well, I think the lesbian groups are delighted because it gives them a chance to have another camping trip. 12% of men have thought about, but not got round to, what? <laughs> Take it away, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Points in oh, the bag. Uh, it's, it's obvious, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's obvious. The octopus thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, like digging it out, putting an octopus on the head. <laughs> with many bells on the tentacles. <laughs> no, no. Is that the answer? No, of course it's no. not. <laughs> we're just messing around. We're, we're just messing your back, Jimmy. We're just collection. messing your back. <laughs> messing your back with <laughs> stupid answers. <laughs> is, it, is it smashing in James Blunt's face? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sean, what do you think? Is it put their record collection in a, you know, a weird order, like order the fatness of the singer? <laughs> They've got Meatloaf at one end, Prince at the other end. So Elton John moves up and down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> On the other end, you've got your Danny Minogue. It's not that most blokes would have one of hers in the record collection, but I don't know. Is What's it that? What's wrong with Some... Danny Minogue? <laughs> Is it that, like, you're in a sort of East End comedy? What's wrong with Danny yeah. Minogue? <laughs> What's... What's the problem with Danny? You come to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, it is, in fact, 12% of men have thought about but not got round to doing voluntary work. That guy's not even a Jackson looky like, sound a likey, look a likey. He's just a not in anything at all a likey. He's like a vaguey, bitty, tiny bitty likey. <laughs> okay, you're related. 36% of obsessive fans would be willing to swap a family member for their hero. Do you think it's true or false? We think it's true. Well, I can tell you that the answer is false. Oh. In fact, 72% of obsessive fans <laughs> would be willing to swap a family member for their hero. <laughs> Fair enough. If I could broker a deal to swap my auntie Gladys for David Beckham, I would. I'm not a massive fan of Beckham's or anything. I'd just like to see our midfield improved. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a genuine nightmare once. Uh, it was quite recently. And it was with Sven Joran Eriksson. It's the night before the World Cup final. And he calls me in. He calls me into his office and he says, I'm picking you for the England team. Yeah, and I'm going, no, no, I'm shit. Don't pick me. I'm useless. I said, I'm not even in the team. He says, you are now. I've had a word with FIFA. He said, I've told all the players just to keep passing to you. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm useless. And he's going, no, trust me. And I go out of the room. All the players are going, wanker, piss off. <laughs> I'll pass to you. And, I've had to, and then I look in the mirror and I'm Peter Crouch. There <laughs> <laughs> was a bit of trouble as well, wasn't there? Some England fans kicked off. There was a, finally, there was some trouble. Everyone was saying that England fans behaving very well. And there was a bit of trouble. I, I saw it coming because uh, before the World Cup, I saw near me, uh, there was a driving range adapted for chairs. They were practising like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming up for the World Cup right now. If they had a World Cup in Sweden, there'd be no end of a vast variety of furniture to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite story of the week is the man who just chose to uh, sort out a problem with a digger. It's always the first way, isn't it? Yeah. He owed them some money. He used to have a, ca they had a caravan site and didn't pay their rent. And they sent him a letter. They said, well, you know, you owe us £1,000, actually, in something. And he went, I'll show you a thousand pounds. And he came back with a digger. <laughs> and smashed their house up and all their cars. Do you want to have a look and see what the damage was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah now, you see, to us, that is a photograph of terrible, terrible devastation. But to him, as a man that drives heavy plant, that's a bit like a CV or a calling card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, he's very calm. Everyone said he was driving, he's very calm. Well, I like the idea that when the police got him out, he was going, It's all right, I've got the hang of it now. <laughs> Didn't do it at first, but it's easy, that's left. But didn't, didn't, didn't he rent it as well? Didn't he rent yeah. the... Uh, yeah. the th he, so he, hired, he spent 450 quid hiring it, 
And they should have known when they're looking at the form, they're going, hang on, he's ticked the box for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> that Camilla only cost the taxpayer 2,000 quid. I wouldn't pay more for her. <laughs> it's a lot of hay, isn't it? <laughs> and Phil, what else have the nation been talking about? I think they've been talking about uh, the guy who gave away... He gave away $30 billion to Bill Gates, another, another very rich man. He gave it to the Bill Gates Foundation. Yes. Is the man's name Warren Buffett? Warren Buffet. <laughs> is uh, where he made his money. He invented the buffet, and, <laughs> and he gets a percentage on every buffet that's ever held. Mm. Well, some would say it was bought. It was invented by Laszlo Smorgasbord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he never patented it. <laughs> I like the idea of, of, of what sort of thank you he expected. Because you had someone that much money, you expect pretty big thank you, don't you? you expect someone to go, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Is it the chocolate? Cadbury's have, uh, have called back a load of chocolate bars because they said they were, had salmonella in them. 250 million? Yeah, something like that, doesn't matter really. A huge number. Once you've gone over 10, I just lose. Do I get too excited? <laughs> <laughs> How much chocolate? They also say. Apparently, the weekend it really affected sales of uh, chocolate. Nobody put me buying box of chocolates and presents as presents for ladies or anything like that, because all because the lady loves a month off work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> they get paid less. They don't get a trophy. They just get a plate. But it does fit in a dishwasher. <laughs> 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 so I thought the real telly thing was, uh, as you see, David, David Cameron on Jonathan Ross, and he's such a sort of publicity junkie now. And uh, they had Martina Navratil over on, and Jonathan Ross cut to the green room where David Cameron said, what did you think about it? He goes, yes, I think we should definitely look into it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll sort that out. Any problems, I'll sort them out, like he's fucking Batman. <laughs> he's in the paedophile in the loft. <laughs> Stop feeding him! <laughs> <laughs> we need the rent. <laughs> he comes down at night. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> is it that, sir? No, it isn't that. Is it that, Mr Carr? <laughs> so he would like to heckle the uh, guided tours. <laughs> He's lying. Pharaohs, they're from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a proper guess, then. 7% of museum visitors have what? I've wondered what it was like in the olden days. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-seven <laughs> percent of game show contestants describe appearing on television as the most exciting thing that has ever happened to them. True or false? She looked horrified. She's like she'd been given, uh, you know, tickets for a dinner with Mick Hucknall or something. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about game shows, they always say to contestants, don't they? Don't they? they always say to them, uh, Fine, you know, there's a funny thing happened to you once, didn't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With biscuits or something. <laughs> yeah. And there you go, oh, yes, yeah, I bought, uh, bought some uh, rich tea and uh, I got them home and it turned out, I forgot you've got it wrong, actually, but we, we like digestives. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the usual stories they tell. So you can see that, that actually the anecdotes they have in their life are so pitiful that television probably would blow their minds. <laughs> I think it's uh, absolutely spot on, Jimmy. That <laughs> statistic isn't a statistic, it's a fact. <laughs> well, I'm I can staring you... down the barrel of the truth there. <laughs> and I'm saying yes. <laughs> I can tell you that the answer is false. <laughs> the world's worst taste. <laughs> Crow omelette. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, crow. All of us. <laughs> well, it'd be Jose, wouldn't it? Because they're Argentinian. Well, no, there's one called Dave. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. An Argentinian called Dave. Yep. Yeah, you know the one, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it was Dave Lopez. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's a vegetable. Oh, a banana. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer, Jermaine. Oh. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Worst thing about gins. <laughs> And a gym is... <laughs> what I hate about gyms? <laughs> Everything's so bloody heavy. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you think, in this day and age, you have to make them so bloody heavy. So that's when you... Cos he was being a moose. He was being a moose? No, yeah. moose is like <laughs> <this>. <laughs> <laughs> 